The origins of Conway Twitty's red neckin' love-making night. Crafting a legendary melody often involves an unsung partnership, and in the realm of 1970s and 80s songwriting, Troy Seals and Max D. Barnes emerged as an exceptionally prolific yet underappreciated duo. Their collaborative magic reached its zenith with Conway Twitty's chart-topping hit, Red Neckin' Love Makin' Night, a song that resonated with audiences far beyond its release in 1982. The creative synergy between Seals and Barnes began with an unexpected connection. Their children playing together in the neighborhood, living just down the street from each other, the revelation that both fathers were talented songwriters set the stage for not just a friendship, but a flourishing songwriting partnership. Their joint efforts resulted in acclaimed hits for George Jones, Waylon Jennings, and Keith Whitley. But perhaps their most steadfast ally was Conway Twitty. Twitty, known for hits like I Can't Love You Enough and From 7 Till 10, formed a successful trifecta with Seals and Barnes claiming two number one solo hits with their compositions Don't Take It Away and the aforementioned Redneckin' Love Makin' Night. Their ability to tailor songs to artists' desires became a signature skill, and Redneckin' Love Makin' Night was no exception. Prompted by Conway's request for an upbeat summer-themed track, Seals and Barnes crafted the song in just two nights. Despite Twitty's intention to release it during the warmer months, circumstances beyond his control led to its unveiling in the winter of 1981. Adding a unique twist to the song's narrative was a line that playfully jabbed at Jerry Lee Lewis with the words, Eat your heart out, killer. Coincidentally, the release coincided with Lewis undergoing major surgery for a perforated stomach, casting an unforeseen shadow on the song's timing. Thankfully, Lewis made a triumphant recovery, turning the seemingly ill-timed jest into a heartwarming salute. Red Neck and Love Makin' Night ascended to the pinnacle of Billboard's country singles chart on January 23, 1980. 82, marking Conway Twitty's final number one hit for MCA. A remarkable journey awaited Twitty on his new label, Electra, where he continued his reign with eight more chart toppers. The song not only secured Twitty's 32nd Billboard number one, but also paved the way for an extraordinary total of 40 chart topping hits, including his subsequent successes on Electra and Warner Bros. Beyond Billboard. Twitty's legacy extended with an additional 15 number one singles on various charts, leaving an indelible mark on the country music landscape. That's all for today's video, folks. Make sure to drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to mention your favorite song from Conway Twitty. So, until next time, take care.